Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins. I'm the owner of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to talk about units of measure to know for the ASVAB exam. This is part one of two. So the first thing we want to review is weights. So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. The reason that this is important to know is that that will appear on the exam. There's not a lot of units, but there ones there are, you really do need to know. So let's see how knowing that 16 ounces equals one pound can help you for the test. So the question is, how many pounds are equal to 36 ounces? So the first thing I want to do is write down my, I have the ratio of one pound is equal to 16 ounces. And that's the ratio that I'm going to keep throughout. So for every pound that I have, it's going to be equal to 16 ounces. So therefore, two pounds would be equal to 32 ounces. And all I'm doing is multiplying the two times 16, and this keeps the ratio. Well, I know that two pounds is not enough because what I'm looking for is 36 ounces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my given of 36 and I'm going to subtract my two pounds, which is equivalent to 32 ounces. So when I subtract this, I have four ounces. So this just tells me that 36 ounces is equal to two pounds and four ounces. Now I'm going to put this in fraction form because that's how it will appear on the test. So all I'm going to do is for my numerator, I'm going to put the number of ounces left over. and I'm going to put that over the total ounces in one pound, which is 16. So now what I want to do is reduce this fraction because they have a common factor. And on the test, you will always see uh, the fractions reduced. So I want to look here and say, all right, what's the common factor? So I'm going to look at the smaller of the two numbers. And <clears throat> 4 can go into both 4 and to 16. So I'm just going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So I would end up with 4 goes into 4 one time, and 4 goes into 16 four times. And that's as reduced as I can get. So how many pounds are equal to 36 ounces? And it would be 2 and 1 fourth pounds. And they usually won't have the unit, but they will have it in fraction form. So the next unit we're going to look at is tons to pounds. So I know that one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds, so I want to find out how many t uh, pounds are in eight tons. Well, just like the above problem, we need to keep the proportions the same. So all that's telling me is for every ton I have, I'm going to have 2,000 pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply to solve this. So I have 2,000. times 8 and every time I multiply by a 0 it's going to be 0 and then 8 times 2 is 16. So how many pounds are in 8 tons? 16,000 pounds. The last example on this page we're going to discuss is changing from gallons to quarts. So there are four quarts in one gallon. And one way to remember this is that uh, there's four quarters in a dollar and that QUA gives me that clue that it stands for four. Okay, just like a quad has four wheels, four quarts are in one gallon. So in the example problem, they tell us that one quart of paint covers 400 square feet. So how many gallons will it take to cover 9,600 square feet? So one of the things I want to look at in this problem is that um, it's a two-parter. 
So I need to solve the first part in order to do the second part. And that's very common in, in the ASVAB. So first thing I want to do is because they're asking in gallons, but they've told me in quarts. So I want to convert my quarts to gallons. So since I know there's four quarts in one gallon, I'm going to just multiply 400 times 4. So 4 times my zeros are going to be 0. And then 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 quarts or 1 gallon can cover 1,600 square feet. Oops. OK, so now that I know this information, I can solve for the second part, which is how many gallons will it take to cover 9,600 square feet. So I'm going to set up a division problem because that's what it's telling me to do. Because I want equal amounts. So I have 9,600 divided by 1,600. Okay, now anything that we do on the outside, we have to do on the inside. And since they both end in two zeros, I'm just going to cross out both those zeros because it will still give me the same answer. It's just making it a little bit simpler. So now I'm just looking at the 16 going into 96 time or into 96. One of the things I'm going to look at here is that this is a six and this is a six. One of the things that I know is anytime I multiply 6 times 6, I end up with a 6 in the 1's place. So what I'm going to do is, as my estimate, so instead of trying every single number, is I'm going to multiply 16 times 6. So we already know that 6 times 6 is 36. And carry the 3, and then 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So that tells me that it takes 6 gallons oops, to uh, cover 9,600 square feet. So that would be my answer for this question. I will be doing a second one talking about other units that will be used on the test. Um, hope this is helpful. Um, once again, my name is Jennifer Mullins, owner of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Thank you for watching.